Today we're kicking off our Atlantic Coast trip that'll take us along the Atlantic seaboard. Our first stop is in uh, the Wilmington, North Carolina area. Our terminal's in a town called Navassa. So we're on the way there. It's our first day that we've uh, faced pretty uh, uh, inclement weather. Tremendous amounts of storms going on right now, lots of rain. And, uh, but we're looking forward to visiting this terminal. So this is an interesting terminal for us. We, uh, we acquired this terminal about four years ago. At the start of the pandemic, we were able to bring over the people uh, and it's become a very, very successful terminal to us. It's a great story. Uh, it's a great location. Got to meet uh, Andrew, who's our TM there. Uh, some of his staff, Danny. Uh, got to meet Ellen over the shop. Uh, Sam was there. She oversees uh, multiple terminals in North Carolina. And this was, this was a really interesting visit because, um, you know, we took this over four years ago from a carrier that was in the fuel business and they were struggling on the chemical side. And so we took it over. It's become a very, very successful operation, uh, running a lot of port work. But what's also impressive is the shop there, the R Stamp shop. Um, they do a great job. Uh, they had their first of our new 20 foot intermodal pieces of equipment in, uh, that the first one they've had a chance to work on. And what's really exciting is in a couple of months, we'll be moving to our owned location that we haven't occupied ourselves for about 15 years. And when that lease expires for a third party, we'll be taking that over. And what's exciting about it is it'll give us the opportunity to grow this location even more because we're a bit limited on, on, uh, on bay space here so we'll be able to make it bigger uh bring on more mechanics and what was pretty interesting and one of the one of the mechanics i spoke with been with us not too long but he was uh did a lot of underwater water welding uh on uh, nuclear power plants uh did some welding on new builds up at uh, newport news uh, naval shipyard and uh, but the wealth of experience uh, one of our mechanics been a mechanic for quite a long time, been with us four years, but uh, in his early 70s, does a, does a great job. One of the drivers, Orlando, gave me some good input on our new location. So it was just a great, great visit from a highly committed team that do a great job for our customers, for our drivers, and help keep us uh, the leader in the industry. So fantastic visit. This morning, we're on our way to our second stop on our Atlantic Coast tour. This time we're visiting our Charleston area terminal. It's located in North Charleston, and we started this terminal a number of years ago for a major customer who we wanted to do business with and they wanted to do business with us. And we talked about what it would take on their part to commit to us um, enough business to support a new terminal. And this is where we have been initially bringing in all of our new intermodal equipment from South Africa. When we were looking at different sailings from uh, from South Africa to the U.S., one of the fastest and direct sailings was to Charleston. So we've been commissioning a lot of our equipment. The first uh, several hundred units came through here. It was interesting meeting uh, with Corey, uh, Corey Thompson, who uh, kind of oversees our terminals here in this area. Uh, great story with Corey. He joined us over in Baton Rouge several years ago. Uh, and then uh, when we made a transition with that terminal, he raised his hand and said he was interested in moving out to uh, to the coast. So he kind of oversees our operations in uh, Charleston, Savannah, and Jacksonville. Then we spent a lot of time with Bill, who runs the shop. Uh, he started the shop with us about uh, I don't know, six or so years ago and runs a very safety-focused uh, uh, operation. It's very evident in everything that goes on there. Uh, so it was great. We got to see some of our new intermodal equipment. And another uh, nice highlight was seeing one of our brand new welders, Vanetta, just joining us. Um, we don't have uh, a lot of females as welders. It's not real common in, in the workforce. So it was really nice meeting her just joining us and uh, uh, looking forward to her success with us. We're headed to the third stop on our Atlantic Coast tour. This will be Savannah. Our first stop was up in Wilmington, North Carolina, and then Charleston. So now Savannah as we make our way down the coast. Uh, this has been a, a strong operation for us for a number of years. Savannah is a, is a uh, key market for us, uh, but here we're, we're resident at uh, one of the washes. This is Koala. And so we have a pretty new terminal staff there. I got to spend some time with uh, Leanne and Sixto, uh, both new with us in the last couple of months, both very excited, uh, bring great experience, uh, especially on the intermodal side. 
So that's pretty exciting for us as this uh, could be a big market for us or is a big market for us for our new product. And, uh, and Corey, who runs a number of our terminals on the coast, uh, he was there as well. He's kind of followed us down. And uh, so it's been good to spend some time with him. But again, a good operation. Uh, we don't have any maintenance here, something we may look at in the future, but for right now, it's a, it's a good core operation servicing some of our major customers in the Savannah area. We're now on the way to our final stop on the Atlantic Coast Tour. So final stop will be Jacksonville. Jacksonville is our newest terminal in our network. Uh, we opened it up uh, in the last year or so, and it's uh, the impetus for opening it was our new uh, intermodal product. Uh, because Jacksonville is a major intermodal city. It happens to also be where our parent company is based at CSX. Uh, and we worked out a, an agreement with them as they had property available. So it became a very cost-effective solution for us to start a new operation there. Uh, a lot of it focused on intermodal, but not exclusively. And we're looking forward to growing this location. It's, it's a market I've wanted to be in for a long time. And we just didn't have the mass to, uh, to open it up, and, and now we do. Uh, it's a small operation right now. We run about 15 drivers or so. And uh, it's also a source of a lot of intermodal business for us. Uh, we saw a number of units on the yard. Uh, Jacksonville is a major intermodal origin and destination in, uh, in the U.S. supply chain. So we're happy to be part of that. I uh, got to spend time with Chris. He's our new DM there. He's only been with us a week. Uh, also, Corey. And then one of our mechanics who's... Uh, down here temporarily from Charleston, but he'll eventually be relocating here to be our on-site mechanic. So it was another great stop and uh, really a nice, uh, a nice conclusion to the Atlantic Coast tour.